never came up with these ripple rumble strips and all on the sides of the road and all. I bet that son of a bitch is the same one. He's a brother of the guy that invented them damn speed bumps. There's a man. Uh, he's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino if you're not into the whole brevity thing. judge down in Florida uh, takes a ruling that says, no, oh, the government didn't follow their own rules and no more mask mandates. And boy, the cheering went on all over the place. The thing is, what were you waiting for? Why, why did you have to wait until some federal judge tells you that what the government was doing was illegal to begin with. What about all these lockdowns and all this kind of stuff? All that was illegal to begin with. And why did you go along? You know, when they, when they came out with the mask, oh, everybody's got to wear a mask. Are you one of the ones that put the mask on? Knowing that, you know, this is stupid. But I gotta go along. Everybody else is putting masks on. I got to go along. Remember when your uh, my county council, Kershaw County Council, said, "Oh, everybody's got to wear a mask." Julie Burns was claiming, "Oh, you got to wear a mask. You got to wear a mask. Social distance. Everybody got to social distance." And then they had special rules where now they could call in and. and do the meeting on Skype. Actually, they weren't even on Skype. They were just on phone calls. Ain't that funny how the government has no technology? Look at our YouTube channel. You just a YouTube feed with a single camera. You can't see the screen. You can't see anything. And that, we're supposed to have an IT department that is really kick ass. But everybody went along. Now everybody's cheering because the government said the government didn't do right. Well, the thing was illegal from the beginning. And now you've waited two years, you went along and everything, and you're cheering because now they're allowing you to take off the mask. But they've already set the precedent that you'll follow any order, it doesn't matter what. How many of you went and got the shot? because you were afraid that they were going to fire you or you'd lose your job or you were afraid of a virus because they said to be afraid of the virus or you tested positive with a PCR test that is not a test. To tell you the truth, I've never wore a mask. Never got a shot. Knew it was a fraud from the beginning. Even went to county council. I've made many and many a video. Go back and look at the videos. Been telling you from the beginning. Now everybody's here. Oh, thank you, government. Thank you. Calm before the storm. They're going to let you have a little bit of relief. But the next thing you know, what is, what's Anthony Fauci uh, promoting now? The fourth booster. Get your booster. How many of you gonna get that? You remember back when uh, Henry McMaster, the governor, starts shutting down businesses and can't get a haircut. And by the way, that's why my hair is long. It's been, what, two, two years and three months or something like that since 
Henry McMaster closed down the hair cutting places. Since they opened it back up, I said, you know what the hell with this? I think I'm gonna let my hair grow until the government quits fucking with me. Look at it, two and a half years. Great day. And all these all these politicians, they've been just going along to get along. What that they which way does the political wind blow today? Notice your county council, they shut the hell up about getting any kind of shots, getting them uh, wearing masks, social distancing. They're not doing any of that anymore. Did they declare, well, uh, all of a sudden the Rona Rona's gone? No, they just went silent, let it fly by. Hopefully nobody noticed that we went along with all the dumbassness. Declared an emergency. You know, reason that it, the incentive for declaring an emergency and keeping an emergency is just like everything else. Follow the money. These clowns are still getting money from the COVID relief fund and whatever the hell else. And then everybody, you see people all the time, oh, it's the Biden, Biden, Biden. Look, Biden isn't the one that put the country in the lockdown. That was the big T-man. Biden was not the one to warp speed the thing. That was the big T-man. Biden was not the one to stimulate and start the American Rescue Plan or whatever the hell it was that the big T-man put through with all the R's and D's. We've been had, we've been lied to, and nobody wants and seems to care. Just want to let it go by. Now, us in South Carolina, we hadn't had it too bad. The disaster McMaster, though he wanted to mandate it, couldn't mandate the shot. There was no political will. The people wouldn't have it. But yet, while claiming that he was for free choice, he had no problem with Blue Cross Blue Shield and the airlines and everybody else pushing this thing on everybody. Hospitals, he didn't give a damn about them people. He hadn't come out and said all the, the vaccine, ooh, great day I said the thing. He hadn't said that the injections don't work. They're not safe and effective. Where is Julie Burns now when he was pitching? Oh, these things are, are the only way out of this here pandemic. Remember that? Over and over and over. Well, you know what? When they first come out with the booster, you know what Julie Burns did? That thing shut the hell up. All of them shut the hell up. Tom Gardner. Same as Samuel Tucker. What'd they do? Shut the hell up. Every damn one of them. And all these little compliant people. Knowing that none of this would make sense. Just went along to get along. Weren't brave enough to, to say, you know what? I'm not being a part of the crowd. despite what their mothers told them. You know, if everybody's running drop off a cliff, but you drop off a cliff, don't fall along. Don't, don't fall victim to peer pressure. And what most of these people do. Now, of course, there's still people running around with masks and everything, but they're lost souls anyway. Look at County Council now. Not a single one of them wearing a mask. Sammy Tucker was the last holdout. In the last meeting they had, Sammy Tucker didn't have his mask on. But you know what? The CDC still recommends masks. All oh, masks protect you, y'all. Get your fourth booster. These clowns. Anybody that votes for these clowns now, any of them, you got to be, you got, there's something wrong with you. If you're not, if you, 
It doesn't matter who it is. Anybody on county council that's up again, they ought to be voted out, period. It doesn't matter if... It, it wouldn't matter if there was a communist running against Julie Burns. Anybody but Julie Burns. He's already shown you he's just... He'll just fall along like a little lemming to the flute player. That's just a little rant today. Just because it's all great today. You know what? Them people, whoever came up with these ripple, rumble strips and all on the sides of the road and all, I bet that son of a bitch is the same one. He's a brother of the guy that invented them damn speed bumps. Them boys need their ass cut. That's another damn thing the government's done screwed up and made a cottage industry of somebody making put rumble strips on the side of the road. Damn roads, you gotta jump around potholes and everything else, much less than damn rumble strip. Anyway, going to play golf with the big mafia today. I'll let you guys go. Have a good day. Just something to think about. Peace. The man. Wow. Uh, He's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. <laughs>